Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, Planning and Teaching. Today's video is going to be a monthly view for October. So let's go ahead and jump right in to our planner. So as you can see, we have October set up is like a black and orange. I'm also going to be doing my monthly page as well. So let's go ahead and pop that out too. Okay, so let's look at our monthly page. Double, double, toil, and trouble. William Shakespeare. All right, so I have a calendar page over here. So that's kind of what I'm going to start with. Um, I'm looking at some dates that um, I need to have marked. So we got a couple of things going on this month um, and I'm going to be out of school, I know, on the 9th. And so I need to go ahead and kind of just like lay out a plan. I am going to look in the today is the day planner, just looking at some um, stickers. Yeah, looking at the quote stickers that are in here. And I love this be so good that they can't ignore you sticker. I am a new teacher in my district, but I'm not a new teacher. I've been teaching for five years, and so, but I'm a new teacher here. So I really want to keep myself motivated because, you know, it's very easy to get bogged down with all of the new things that are going on. Um, so I really want to keep myself motivated. So I'm starting with that black sticker, but I'm gonna tie in a pop of pink down here. Uh-oh, see if I can get this up without ripping the sticker. Good. So I'm gonna tie in just a pop of pink, if I can. Yeah. Just gonna tie in a pop of pink right across this part here just because there are no dates here anything and so I can really utilize that um I don't have any um, other activities going on other than I'm going to be off so I'm gonna pull out my mom sticker book because it has some no school stickers. I like that one. But I'm going to see if it has some more that I could use. No. Let's look in my Let's look in my student planners. Student sticker books and see if they have any no school stickers that stick out a little bit better so i can always um use my alphabet sticker book to write but i'm not going to use my alphabet sticker book today on this to do no school because i have a sticker that says no school so that's what we're going to use we're going to use this no school sticker and i'm going to use the green one Actually, I'm going to use the pink to help kind of tie in the pink that I had before. So, I'm going to use the No School sticker here. And on top of the Columbus Day words there, I'm going to write Columbus Day. And you know what? I'm not going to use this sticker because there is another stool. I am just trying to find um, a particular sticker and 
I believe that it's probably in my sticker, in my teacher sticker book. Yeah, so I found the sticker that I was looking for. Columbus Day is considered fall break for us. So I'm going to definitely use this fall break sticker. Okay, good. All right, um, any other days that I will be off? Uh, no, I do have to take a half of a day. Um, so I need to plan to have some sub work for my students done before that day so let's see I'm gonna put that here um let's see do I have any other days I'm looking at my calendar and I am looking for um, a particular sticker that's um, I'm gonna hold that that's very much for teachers so it should be in the teacher sticker book. found this Halloween sticker so I'm going to grab it put that here um, let's see we are going to have a class party on this day so I'm going to pull out this circle sticker here and just cut that tail end of that off and I'm gonna put it right down here in the corner so I can remember um, let's see just to kind of keep with this kind of blue that I pulled in I want to make a note here and here for class party money for my students when it's due. Okay, got that done. The next thing I'm looking for it's not in the yellow sticker book, so let's flip through the green one and see if we can find the sticker that I want. And then if I can't find the one I want, then I will definitely make it. So I do have an award ceremony. But I'm not gonna use that sticker because it's not for everybody, like for the entire school. So that this sticker is not in here either the one that I wanted but I may have a stash See this appointment sticker, so I'm gonna make a note there so I can remember that that's my appointment. Let's see, it may it may very well be in this little stash of stickers that I have here that I kind of pulled out of a book. 
I like this read a book sticker here. We're having a book fair that starts on the 16th and runs through the 20th. So I'm going to put this here, read a book. So I'll know that the book fair is that week. Let's see what else we got going on. So if you didn't know, I kind of pulled some stickers out of a book in, with the intention of making a um, sticker book and I never got around to doing it. All right, there we go. There's one sticker that I need. This is another sticker that I need. Good. So I have exactly what I need here. So. Um, the sixth is the end of a grading period. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there. Um, and because I don't have exactly what I'm looking for, I'm hoping that I'm able to make it. So this is a due date sticker. I'm just going to cut it right along where it says due and date. I'm going to put this due sticker here. And there's another sticker that I want. Since I can't find the one I'm looking for, I'm going to make what I need. So the same day that um, the grading period ends, that's when grades are due. So I need to make sure that I have all of my grades in by that time, which I will because this is basically the last week that we're going to be getting grades besides our nine weeks test. So that should be fairly easy to do. So grades. Grades are due, so grades due, put the due sticker right there, and then end of a grade period underneath, okay? And then I'm gonna write something out beside that. Okay, so that's what we have going on the sixth. Um, got the book fair notated. And that's pretty much all we have going on for this month. I don't have anything else. Um, that I need to lay out in the monthly view. So, let's go ahead and write. And um, this time while I'm planning, I'm going to be using the Paper Mate Inkjoy gel pens and I like the .7, all right? Now, these are due at 8 a.m., so I need to make sure those are done. Um. So I need to send home party letter. Um, final day. All right. And I want to um, include 
that this is the book fair. Let's see if I have enough letters. Yep, definitely got enough letters. So, and it's going to last until the 20th. So, so I kind of want to spread this out a little bit. So, we'll start it here. B, and we'll end it here. So, and an I. A and F. I probably could have spread them out just a little bit more. And let's see if I can. And it's a little crooked, but we're going to go with it. O. O. Okay. Okay. So we have the book fair going on that week. Um, so I'm going to leave at 11 appointments at 2 sub work needed all righty um and that's pretty much all i have going on so my monthly spread looks a little blank and it's really because it's not a lot going on this um this month at school um so hopefully next month i have a good idea of what i'm doing so it'll be a lot easier so let's quickly do our monthly sheet okay um this week's goal this month's goal is going to be a quote so what I'm going to do is locate a quote from my quote sticker book. And I am a lover of all things clear. Well, of all quotes clear, let's put it that way. So, this month's goal is for me to be the very best version of myself. So be the very best version of you. That's the goal for the month. Um, my focus this month is to make myself proud. Okay, so in my top my top five task. use this for my top five tasks. I don't really do student birthdays. 
in here just because I don't like to share that information. So I'm going to cover that with a sticker. decided to throw this flower on here just because it was pretty and I like the way that it looks and it helps to cover up what I want to cover up and right on top of that I'm going to layer that on top I love it um, keep these icon stickers here so my top five task um, is to organize better. I may come off sticker a little bit, but it's okay. Organize better. Um, set daily schedule. Adhere to the schedule because I tend to get off task sometimes. centers every day grade papers twice a week okay um and I don't have any events that I did not notate already so of course we're going to utilize that space with a huge sticker. If I can find one that I actually want to use. You know what? For events, I am just going to put... calendar okay so this is my opening page my monthly page followed by my monthly uh my monthly calendar I'm happy i was able to use it um i hope you enjoyed this video thanks so much for watching keep god first in everything you do give this video a thumbs up and click that red subscribe button it is absolutely free happy planning and teaching you guys bye <music>